this video I'm going to show you how to combine shapes using the Pathfinder tool and then use the pen tool to add anchor points and then manipulate those anchor points to create more organic shapes. So you start with drawing a few rectangles. I'm going to attempt to draw a whale shape. So it may or may not work, but we'll see how we go. So I have a so my whale is going to have a tail up here and it's going to spin around here and its head's going to be over here. So I'm going to use these basic shapes. Um, I'm not working to scale at the moment, but if this was my actual chair, I'd be checking my measurements and making sure that my total height and my total width was um, the same as my prototype that you should have made out of cardboard foam core. So I've drawn three rectangles. I'm going to use the black selection tool and select them all. I'm going to go to Window and select the Pathfinder option. My Pathfinder palette is now open and I'm going to use the Unite and there I've got my general shape so I can close my Pathfinder palette now. So on the pen tool, if I click and hold, there's a few options. And you would have used the pen tool in um, your Illustrator tutorials in year eight. In this one, we're going to use the Add Anchor Point and we're going to add some extra anchor points to our rectangular shapes so that we can manipulate them more easily. And you probably don't need a heap of them and make sure you actually hit the line, it makes a big difference. But I'm putting some in the corners and I put a few in. I'm not going to do the whole shape, I'm just going to give you a demonstration, but this should give you an idea of how to use them. So to manipulate the anchor points, I have to go to the white arrow or direct, direct selection tool and click on the direct selection tool. Now, if I want to move one of these anchor points, I need to click on it to activate it. You can see it turned blue. I'll zoom in on that so you can see really clearly that my anchor point is blue. And if I use the direct selection tool, I can pull on that and it will move and reshape but it's quite angular and I don't want it to be angular, I want it to be curvilinear. So if I have my anchor point activated, it's blue I can see it, and click on this other uh, button here, it converts it from angular shapes or corner shapes to smooth shapes. So if I select smooth, you can immediately see it smoothed out. And you should be familiar with these handles from when you were um, in year eight using, and you had to draw your leaf on when, when you did the word grass. And depending on which way you twist this or pull it, it changes the angle of the curve that you've got here. So that's that acti anchor point activated. If I want this anchor point to be curved and smooth, I need to do the same thing and then the same thing here. So I should be able to move these anchor points around quite easily and change the shape of what's going on. So I want to smooth that out a little bit and just change the angle of that. This one here, this one here. Okay, so we're working around our shape. So, so if I continue to zoom out a bit more, I've got a kind of shape here going on. Let's try and make this look like a whale tail. So I direct selection tool, click on my anchor point, activate the anchor point, move the anchor point, and then I want, I'm going to keep that one as an angle, and then I'm going to direct selection tool on the anchor point over here, smooth that anchor point, move this one down here, and then I'm going to remove a few of my anchor points because I've got a few too many, so I go back to my pen tool palette, or pen tool button, click and hold, delete anchor point tool, I'm going to delete this one, that should be fine. Go back to sorry, my direct selection tool so I can move this one over here. And I'm going to add an anchor point here. Direct selection tool. Then move it in a bit. But I want to angle it out 
slightly like that. So I've got myself a bit of a whale shaped tail. I'm going to continue to move some of my other anchor points around. looks like a seal or a sea lion now. So girls, I think you get the general idea. It just comes with practice, have a play. But again, you need to be aware of what your sizes are. So, you know, just keep an eye on what the dimensions are. If you need to check something, you can always add in a rectangle to help with measurements. And you can see that that rectangle you just drawn is 70 by 160. So again, that will help you like obviously delete it if you don't need it, but just keep checking your measurements, keep zoomed in to check your detail, get it as smooth as possible. Direct selection tool is what we need to do to move our anchor points around. And the pen tool with the add anchor point is how you add extra anchor points in.